reading friends this is sara today i'm going to read the story the bernstein bears go to summer camp have you gone camping let's go with them and find out how it is to go to a camp what is there it was the last day of school and the beginning of vacation that wonderful time when little bears could sit around doing absolutely nothing Brother Bear and Sister Bear shouted goodbye to Teacher Jane and hopped on to the bus for the happy trip home. You can see that Brother Bear and Sister Bear they're happily hopping on to the school bus. They're going home and they're saying bye to their teacher and all their friends. Well, asked Mama Bear after a day or so of vacation, "Are you enjoying sitting around doing nothing?" It's great said sister absolutely said brother there's just one trouble with it added sister there's nothing to do here take a look at this said mama as she reached for something that had come in the mail so they've got a letter there's something in the mail this is what it looked like tired of sitting around doing nothing Come to Grizzly Bob's Day Camp. Summer fun for cubs of all ages. So there's swimming, there's canoeing, there's arts and craft, sports and games, nature study, and it's all fully supervised by Bob. And don't forget our exciting overnight campfire, powwow, and sleep out. Some of the things looked interesting but brother wondered what fully supervised meant and sister wasn't so sure about that overnight sleep out it sounded a little scary Where is this camp our sister not far answered mama how will we get there brother wanted to know A bus comes for you in the morning and brings you home in the afternoon. Sounds a little like school, said brother. We'll think about it, said the cubs, and went back to doing nothing. Well, not exactly nothing. They picked a few wild flowers, chased a few butterflies, turned over a few rocks, and thought about it. Mama could we try Grizzly Bob's day camp just to see if we like it they asked Of course said mama A couple of mornings later brother and sister were in camp shops and t-shirts all ready and waiting when the bus came It didn't look much like the school bus and Grizzly Bob didn't look much like teacher Jane and the camp didn't look anything like school so this is grizzly bob's day camp grizzly bob had built his camp beside a lake at the edge of the forest there were log buildings a flag pole flying the camp flag a big bulletin board with the camp rules there certainly were a lot of rules some interesting parts A roped-in place to swim. There was even a big red canoe. But what what they were both thinking about was Skull Rock and that end of camp sleep out, especially sister. The second day was different. Brother had a great day. He passed the swimming test and was allowed to ride in the canoe. Sister didn't have such a good day. She played dodgeball and some of the cubs threw pretty hard. Oh, there's a cub throwing the ball on her head. The third day sister had fun. She got a star for a birch picture frame she made in arts and crafts. But brother hurt his knee in the wheelbarrow race. The fourth day both of them had fun and every day after that so much fun that they forgot about skull rock and the sleep out you can see they're fishing they're uh, playing football they're playing tennis they're reading stories 
She's swimming. Papa found the sleeping bags that he and Mama had used on their honeymoon and when the campus came on the morning of the big night, brother and sister were ready, sort of. The climb up Spook Hill wasn't so hard this time. Even with backpacks, the cubs were strong and tough from their summer of camping. Tomorrow would be field day, the last day of camp when their parents would come to watch their games and contests and see awards given out. But for now, all the cubs could think about was the big sleep out. It was just beginning to get dark when they reached Skull Rock. Oh, you can see the Skull Rock. Grizzly Bob built a campfire. Then he went into a small cave. When he came out, he was dressed in a beautiful Indian costume. Then the cub sat in a semicircle and the powwow began. Bob told them old Indian legends of the great animal spirits. The story of the great grizzly as big as a mountain. The soaring eagle who filled the sky and the mighty salmon whose colors made the rainbow. As Bob told the old stories, the cubs could almost see the wonderful creatures in the firelit smoke as it curled up into the night sky. You can see the mighty salmon and there is the soaring eagle and the grizzly who is as big as a mountain. After the powwow, they had cocoa and honey bread. Then they curled up in their sleeping bags and soon they were all fast asleep, even sister. The next day, brother and sister did very well in the field day games and contests. Brother won a trophy for finishing second in the dash and sister got medals for the dead bear's float and for her bead belt. It was almost the end of summer. School would be starting in a couple of weeks. Well, asked Papa, how did you like camp? It was great, said brother, hugging his trophy. It was great, agreed sister, wearing her medals proudly. But you know something, after Grizzly's Bob Day Camp, school will be like a vacation. Thank you.